Hello, my name is Mickey Yipe, and I'm an RN, Certified Diabetes Educator. I manage Hurley Diabetes Center, which is a part of Hurley Medical Center in Flint, Michigan. What is low blood sugar? When you take your blood sugar and it's 70 milligrams or less, that's the definition of low blood sugar. Just like high blood sugar, your body will give you signals that tell you that your blood sugar is too low. You may get some of these signals, you may get all of these signals, but what's important is whatever signal you get, you will always get that same signal. When you go to reach for something, your hands can be shaky. You can be irritable or cranky, and the people around you know that you are irritable or cranky. When you go to focus on something, your vision can be blurred, and you have difficulty seeing what you're trying to look at. You can become sweaty, and it's more like a cold sweat than a hot sweat from exercising. Your speech can become slurred. You can get a headache, which is usually frontal area, and is not relieved by anything that you normally take to get rid of a headache. Your heart can feel like it's beating faster because your body is trying to get the sugar that's in your bloodstream up to your brain. You can feel dizzy. You can feel extremely weak, again, because you don't have the sugar needed for energy. You can feel nervous, and you can be confused. It's important when your blood sugar is low, again, less than 70, that you raise your blood sugar quickly. So it's recommended that you use 15 grams of a fast-acting carbohydrate. Examples of that would be a half cup of juice, any type of juice, three sugar candies, like the free mints that you get at a restaurant, four ounces of regular pop, and that would be about a third of a can of pop, a whole cup of milk, one tablespoon of raisins, or three glucose tabs that are five grams apiece. After you treat your low blood sugar, it's important to check your blood sugar again in 15 minutes to make sure that the level of sugar in your blood has risen. We call that the 15-15 rule. 15 grams of a fast-acting carbohydrate and then check again in 15 minutes. What can make your blood sugar go too low? If you skip a meal or you don't eat on time, if you take too much of your diabetes medication, if you're not normally active and all of a sudden you are very active, and if you drink or take recreational drugs, your blood sugar can go too low. It's important that you call your doctor if you have two or more low blood sugar readings in one week or any time you take your blood sugar and it's under 50. Just as it's important to know how to treat high blood sugar, it's just as important to know how to treat low blood sugar.